A tip about scaling with absolute handles. What are absolute handles? Well, if I activate my scale tool in the tool properties, then I have a option to check absolute handle. When you check this, you get on each axis, x axis an extra widget, and this allows you to drag out your handle to make it bigger or to make it smaller. And this is useful if you want to fine-tune your scaling or scale in large amounts. So let's do this with an example. So right now I have no action center and my result will be something like this when I start dragging. And with no action center and this behavior that is most of the time not what you want, so control Z to undo. So I could set my action center to something like selection center auto axis. Now when I place my handle over there, make it much larger. Now when I scale, I get a more predictable result, just like that. Control Z to undo. Or I can also place it much closer to the origin of the handles. And now I can scale with very little mouse movement with large amounts, just like that. So, the, so resizing your tool handles can be interesting to scale with large amounts, like you see here, Control Z to undo, or with very small amounts, like that. And, of course, I can also use other action centers, like, for instance, Origin. And again, I have to drag out my tool handle and that's again same like that or much closer to the center point and then I can scale with large amounts so this can be handy if you really need to make a large scale or a very fine scale to reposition your tool handles with absolute handles and then action centers become more important to specify from where the action needs to take place. So a tip about absolute handles with the scale tool. Oh, before I stop, you also have the same option with the transform tool. So if you uncheck absolute handles, they disappear. If you check absolute handles, you have your absolute handles, but it becomes a bit more difficult to select them because of the other transform handles. Yes, like that. So a tool about absolute handles with scaling. Hope you found it useful. Bye for now.